Stay connected with me. Stay connected with Maxim Education. This is me, Maxim. Teaching you science every weekend. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my first video. Today, I will be talking about specification grid for IC students of class 10. SE means class 10, obviously. And I will be talking the specification grid of science. So, in the board, I will be writing the specification grid for its parts of the science not the chapters i will write the parts of the science and how the questions are asked so we have the specification grid for SEE science for physics you have the chapters from one to six it is classified under physics chapter one to chapter six and chemistry chapter seven to chapter 13 biology chapter 14 to chapter 20 and geology and astronomy chapter 21 to 23 so altogether there are 23 chapters in science and they are divided into physics chemistry biology geology and astronomy okay first type of question that you will get in science in your SEE exam is knowledge type question where you need to answer the questions in for in one sentence for one marks like physics you will have five questions for one marks Similarly, chemistry, you have four such questions for one marks, biology five, and geology and astronomy one. So altogether, there will be 15 questions being asked, and there will be the marks 15 for knowledge type question. That's, that is the first category of question that you will be getting in group four. four you will get knowledge type question. K, it is represented as K. K. Okay. Next question, next set of question that you will get is understanding question. In understanding question, what you need to do is you need to uh, you need to explain the the knowledge that you have, how much you have understood about the question. So in physics, you will get physics, you will get four four understanding questions of two marks. Similarly, in chemistry also you will get four, biology also you will get four. And in geology and astronomy, you will get one understanding type question, and that that all the questions carries two marks. So altogether, there will be thirteen question being asked in understanding type of question, and it will it carries 26, 26 marks. Next is application. How that knowledge, that understanding of the question can be applied. The application based questions. It is asked in physics, chemistry, and biology, not in geology and astronomy. So, there will be two such questions in each physics, chemistry and biology that carries three marks each. So, altogether there are six such questions and 18 the total marks. And last, the higher ability. In physics, chemistry, biology, geology and astronomy, you will have higher ability question HA. Higher ability HA. And you will get one such question. Uh, usually, we tell it long question. Okay? and it carries four marks so altogether there are four such high ability question that carries 16 marks so in science altogether there are 38 questions that carry 75 marks in theory and you will be getting 25 marks as practical so it will be full mark 75 and it includes practical 25 so the total marks for science becomes 100 and in practical it goes according to the practical grade practical course that you have the application that you carry on on physics chemistry biology geology and astronomy those application we can use it as practical course that there is 25 marks in your board exam or in your terminal examination or internal exam so this is how the government of Nepal, the curriculum development of Nepal has classified the specification grid for science. There is, there is no such fixed question that will come from the chapters. Even physics, chemistry, biology, geology and astronomy, they, are, they have a lot of chapters here. It is not for sure that this part will carry the higher ability question. This part will carry just the knowledge based type, type question. So the chapters, they are equivalent to each other in each portion so this is how we divide the marks and 
the type of question in science as a specification grid. In today's video, I talked to you about uh, the specification grid. I made this video because we need to know the type of question that are asked to get good marks in our board exam. So today I just introduced you how the questions they are asked. Okay. And, and how we can focus in each part by, by which you can get more marks by doing less work, less effort. I did this just, just for your advantage. Stay connected with me. Stay connected with Maxim Education. This is me, Maxim, teaching you science every weekend. I will be uploading two videos of each chapters of physics, chemistry, biology, geology, astronomy, anyone. I will be just teaching you in very basic, simple way that you can understand the chapter and know the type of question that the chapter has. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video.